hello friends welcome to my channel in this video let us derive formula for this function that is integral of root x square minus a square dx let us assume the value of this integral as i is equal to integral of root x square minus a square dx as we are going to apply integration by parts formula we should have two functions therefore let us rewrite this function i is equal to integral of 1 into root of x square minus a square dx while applying integration by parts formula uh, we have to select first and second functions first function should be easily differentiable function and second function should be easily integratable function if you treat one as first function then its derivative will be zero and we will not get anything out of it therefore it is better to take this root of uh, x square minus x square which is algebraic function as first function let us consider this as first function such that we could take derivative of this function very easily and then this one will be second function such that its integration you know, can be easily taken integration of one is x now applying integration by parts applying integration by parts i is equal to first function root of x square minus a square integral of second minus under integral derivative of first first function is root of x square minus a square integral of second to solve this integral outer integral let us put bracket and put one more dx this dx is for this inner integral and this dx is for outer integral equal to root of x square minus a square into integral of x one is x minus derivative of root x square minus a square this is composite function we have to consider this x square minus a square as u derivative of root u is 1 by 2 root u 1 by 2 root x square minus a square into derivative of u that is derivative by dx derivative of x square is 2x derivative of a square is 0 because a is constant its square is again constant then integral integral of 1 is x dx is equal to let us write x first x root x square minus a square minus this 2 will get cancelled with this 2 this x into this x we get x square let us write here x square on root x square minus a square dx if you look at this function we have x square minus a square inside the root and in the numerator we have x square we don't have a square term therefore let us add and subtract a square i will write minus a square and plus a square there is nothing harm in writing like this and let us put these two terms together and let's split the numerator and let's put in the separate integrals this upon this is equal to root of integral x square minus a square dx minus into plus minus minus a let's keep a square outside as it is constant outside the integrals dx upon root x square minus a square therefore i is equal to x into root of x square minus a square see here we are getting same thing again here we have root x square minus a square and we have assumed that value as i therefore let us write, write i for this i for this minus 
a square into c let us write formula for this see there is standard formula this for this function 1 upon root x square minus x square is log of x plus root x square minus a square plus c now let us take this minus i to the left hand side it will become 2i is equal to x root x square minus a square minus a square log of x plus root x square minus a square plus c therefore i is equal to i means this value root of x square minus x uh, a square dx is equal to x by 2 root of x square minus a square minus a square by 2 log of x plus root x square minus a square plus c this is the formula that's it for this video let's stop here thanks for watching goodbye